Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadaf and I love all things home decor and DIYs. These past couple of weeks, I've, I've been seeing this um, moon wall hanging art piece all over my feet. And um, even though it's not really my style, I still really wanted to try and see if I could make it. And I think it's gonna make a really great gift for someone who is into these types of, um, you know, art and pieces. So let's just get into it. So I started making a base at first and I used some pieces of cardboard and I used this old DIY clock um, as my template. Please don't judge the backside. Um, I just cut a circle the size that I wanted and I actually used that and cut another one and this is just because I didn't have a thick enough cardboard and I wanted a thick and you know sturdy base so I just used some hot glue attached the two pieces to each other um, and that was ready and then I moved on to um, making the edge and sort of like the frame portion so for that I actually just started cutting some strips I didn't have a long piece of cardboard so I'm using multiple shorter pieces then again using more hot glue I started gluing the pieces um, to the edge of the circle, sort of just making like a frame, like I said. So if you can see here, I had that tiny little gap and I covered it up, but that was a mistake. I should have left the gap there, uh, which I didn't remember at this point um, then I decided to add another layer to make it thicker and sturdier again and then I use my base as a template again and drew another circle and this time as you can see I'm almost freehanding a frame I guess um, I don't know what to call it I cut that out and glued it on top of my base and this creates sort of like a lip which is important because we want to be able to hide our LED strips um, so yeah that's why I added that and at this point I realized I should have you know left a little gap so I just cut a small hole then I started covering the frame portion with paper mache clay and I just added a tiny amount and then I tried to kind of just smooth it out as I went what I'm doing here but I covered the inside of the frame and the outside as well um, I felt like it would be easier to work on the frame first and then move on to the actual moon part um, so yeah then I just tried to kind of smooth it out uh, which kind of helped a little and then I just let it dry for a whole day So this is the frame and as you can see it was still pretty rough so I just grabbed a wet rough sandpaper and it's very important for the sandpaper to be wet um, it helps with smoothing out the paper mache clay you can already see uh, how much different that little section looks it does take a bit of time 
but I feel like it really helps getting a nicer texture with paper mache clay. The only thing is that you won't have a bowl of water right next to you because the sandpaper dries out um, pretty quickly. So once the frame was done, I just started covering the middle with a layer of paper mache clay. Now I'm putting the paper mache clay directly on my cardboard and it worked out fine for me. But if you're worried about your cardboard warping, because of the moisture from paper mache clay, you can actually use some tape to cover your cardboard first and then apply your paper mache clay. And this sort of creates like a barrier in between your layers um, and that should help keeping your cardboard flat. And I made sure to use different sizes to make it look as natural as I possibly could. Then I used my tool to kind of just soften the edges and make it look, I don't know, more natural, I guess. I was looking at inspo pictures um, and trying to use those as inspiration. And then I decided to add some height. Um, so as you can see, I was adding more clay to some of the areas to kind of just raise them up and build them up a bit more. Once I was happy with the way the moon was looking, I just started tapping um, on the moon to get rid of the smoothness. And I found that doing this actually gives this really realistic, I guess, um, texture to the base. When the base was dry, I mixed some black and white acrylic paint, made some gray paint and started painting my base. Now, as you can see, I was mixing my paint as I went because I wanted some of the areas to be darker, some to be lighter, so I could just add more black if I wanted my paint to become darker and, you know, add more white if I wanted a lighter paint and spraying some water actually helps the paints blend really nicely. I didn't really know what I was doing here. The only thing um, was that I wanted the areas that are supposed to look deeper, um, kind of darker, and the more raised areas to be a bit lighter. Um, so yeah, I just played around with the colors at this point. The color looks really blue in this light. I don't know what it was. Um, it was definitely not blue. I actually found that, you know, being able to step back um, and look at you know, the moon from afar helped a lot deciding with the painting. I spent a long time painting the piece. Then 
then I decided to add some highlights. So here I'm using a metallic white acrylic paint. You can use silver as well, I guess. And just added some here and there, especially to the more raised areas um, to add more, like I said, highlights. And then I moved on to the back side of the frame and the light that I wanted to use had this, I don't even know what it's called, um, but basically it has this large piece and I wanted to build an area for that large piece to sit on. Um, so using more cardboard, I build around, you know, um, area for that. And then I covered the whole thing, the backside with more paper mache clay. a quick little sanding to make it a little bit smoother um, doesn't have to be perfect and I remembered I didn't leave an opening decided to drill a hole since it was all dry um, and then for the other side I actually made a cut and this is a piece I was telling you guys about um, I don't really know how it works I asked an electrician and they made it for me so I'm not really sure how to explain that but basically the piece sits inside the round space that I made like I said and then there's a plug on one side and a LED strip light on the other side and I used that little opening, little gap that I made in the beginning to bring my strip light towards the front side. And then I was just able to glue it inside that little edge um, using some super glue. I was just able to plug it in and I just finished my piece. So I hope you enjoyed today's DIY. If you did, please let me know down below which one was your favorite and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more. I hope to see you again. Bye.